In Photoshop, layers are when photographs can be stacked like pancakes. You will have two main windows of concern when working with layers in Photoshop. The first is your main image as seen by the viewer, and the second is called the layers palette, which allows you to see individual layer components involved in creating the image. Now magicians immediately understand this concept. Your image window is what we want the viewer or the audience to see. And the layers palette keeps track of everything it takes to create the illusion, and it is not seen by the viewer. You will notice when a single JPEG photograph is opened in Photoshop, there is one layer. Now this single layer can quickly be duplicated and stacked upon itself by right clicking and selecting duplicate. If you did this twice, you would have three identical images stacked on top of themselves. And in real life, this is what it would look like. In Photoshop, we see the three layers in the Layers palette. Photoshop also provides the tools we need to isolate individual parts of an image into separate, distinct layers. For example, in real life, I would use a black marker to outline or select a single pancake and then the scissors to cut it out. In Photoshop, there are several ways to make a selection and not only isolate it, but duplicate it as needed. So say for example I have two images open in Photoshop. One is of this pancake grill with two pancakes and some topping, and the other is of a plate. If I were to transfer them in real life using photographs, this is how I would do it. If I were to do it in Photoshop, I would select each pancake and then click and while holding down on my selection, I would drag them to the plate photograph. The layers palette now shows each individual layer as a separate element. The order of the layers in the palette represents the stacking order. The highest in the palette represents the top stacked image, with the lowest being the bottom. You will notice that the layers palette shows which layer is selected for editing by being highlighted. Now learn to keep a close eye on this. If you are unsure which layer is selected while you're working in Photoshop, you are wasting your time. Yeah, layers can be selected for editing simply by clicking on them, and you always have to keep an eye on which layer you are working on. To rename a layer, click twice quickly and then retype the name of the new layer. If you ever lose track of the layers palette, you can find it by going to Windows and then selecting Layers. The real power in Photoshop is that layer elements can be controlled individually without affecting the other layers. You can adjust many aspects of a single layer, including hue, saturation, contrast, brightness. You can move a single layer, rearrange, duplicate, delete, hide, make transparent, etc., etc. You can do a lot of really great things using layers. If you found this video helpful, you may be interested in my new DVD, Photoshop Crash Course. I'll not only teach you the most important tools in Photoshop, I'll teach you how to think in Photoshop. It can be ordered from the following link.